An Arkansas first responder is recovering after a bad car wreck. You see him here, Chris Burnett, was rear-ended in his work truck while at a stop sign. He hit his head on the dash and went to the hospital to get checked out. That checkup turned into almost a full week stay at the hospital. He's now calling that wreck a godsend. Claire Kreitz spoke with him today, and Claire, what did he say? Well, Stephanie, because of the impact on his brain, he went through the necessary procedures to make sure he was okay. He got a CT scan and other exams. During that testing, doctors found something that didn't come from a car accident. I just received a 27-year award hanging on the wall right there. Almost three decades of fighting fires for two departments, running into burning buildings. I felt like I was Superman. And saving lives. I could walk through the wall and just do what I need to do and go on. Now Chris Burnett is the one whose life needs to be saved. It's pretty devastating. It'll humble you. He went to get head scans after a car accident this week, but he never could have imagined what doctors would discover. I know it's all malignant cancer cells that they've they found. He had a mass in his brain that needed to be removed. It was in this area the way I'm understanding right in here. But Burnett isn't out of the woods just yet. There's two other masses in there that are not very large that they're gonna I'm gonna go in for radiation treatment and then there's also a spot that's on my kidney. Well he's battling his own crisis. I have my radios and I have my, my pagers and everything here. He has to take off the suit and put down his helmet. I listen to him go off and I, you know I'm thinking in the back of my head guys I'm there with you but I can't be there. But as a man who's dedicated his life to fighting fires Burnett says it'll take more than cancer to keep him off the truck. I got several more years of this left in me, and I don't, I don't plan on letting this take me out. Burnett will meet with an oncologist to figure out his next steps. To learn how you can help Burnett and his family, you can visit our website, fox16.com.